You've been named one of the world's greatest leaders as the CEO behind a successful turnaround, Levi Strauss, and in charge of 15,000 employees across the globe. How would you describe your leadership and your management style? What are you like as the boss? I've been blessed to have a lot of great bosses and a lot of mentors in my career. Um, I think fundamentally it comes down to um, having a huge amount of humility and selflessness. Mm -hmm. um, I feel my biggest job is, is to serve the organization. Um, you know, I love being out in the markets. I love walking into our stores. I love hearing what are the challenges that our, peop that peop our people are dealing with. And then how can I, as the leader, help break some of the barriers and bust some of the mm -hmm. challenges to, so that we, we can be more successful. I'm responsible for all these employees and, mm -hmm. and our success as a company will create career opportunities for them. And if we're not successful mm -hmm. as a company, they may not have jobs. And, and, and that is a huge responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I take it super, super, um, you know, personal. Looking back, what were some of the mistakes you've made that you regretted? You know, this is a corny saying and it gets said a lot, but um, probably not exiting people soon enough mm -hmm. when I knew that there was something not right, uh, not making the right people moves fast enough, um, not moving really talented people ahead fast enough. We've lost people who I regret that we lost. At the end of the day, it's a people game. Mm. After more than 10 years as CEO of Levi Strauss, you're stepping down next year. Michelle Gass has been named as your successor. She will take over. I'm guessing you had a big hand in, in selecting her for the job. Am yeah. I right? Yes, I, I did. Um, you know, working with the board, it wasn't my decision to be, to be super clear. But, um, you know, we had been working on succession and um, initially they kept saying, we want to find another you. You know, go find a mini chip, go find another you. And, and I kept saying to them, you don't want another me. I was mm. the right guy for 12 years ago. The brand was broken. You needed somebody who could come in and build the brand. The needs of the company today are a little bit different. Mm. The brand is really, really strong. We aspire to be a big direct-to-consumer retailer. And Michelle, yes, she worked at Kohl's for the last 10 years, and she's the CEO for the last five plus years. In her heart, she is a retailer, and I'm a brand guy. Yeah. And she took Cole's digital business, their e-commerce business, from a billion dollars to six billion dollars in 10 years. Um, you know, she changed Cole's, um, made them a digitally savvy company. And so she's gonna bring that to the party as well. So, mm -hmm. and that's a huge opportunity as she's well. She's already joined Levi Strauss since the beginning of the year. When will she officially take over? That's a board decision. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, when we announced her, we said within 18 months of her joining, you know, my, my basic philosophy is always under promise and over deliver, so hopefully a little bit faster than that. And uh, what I will say is the transition has gone incredibly well. She's really hit the ground running. She's a terrific leader. And uh, I'm very optimistic that this is gonna be a smooth transition. And at the end of the day, that's one of my most important legacies mm -hmm. and um, is, you know, who I hand the baton to and is that person gonna take the company from where it is today to the next level.